it's the second day on the trot the little cafe bar where I had a coffee when I booked in it's closed but dead opposite looks an interesting place that I didn't see I guess that's the thin thing you, you do miss everything you just got to keep going Lovely. <clears throat> I'm walking, that's where I came from, walking down the side of the Mercat de Rissafa. Rizafa. There is another market. Market of Cologne, I think. German. Checked, I might have even got that right. Market de Cologne. Uh, I go quite near it, but it's a little bit out of the way, but it's certainly a place worth having a look on another day. I've got a few more days here, and now I'm finally up and out, I realise that <clears throat> I need to just get up and out, not sit about in the flat, only because it's north facing and it's cold. and. It takes a vibe down a little bit, really. Stupid of me, I know. But then I'm not here again as a tourist. I'm here for a month, I have plenty of time, and if I was living here, I'd be doing exactly the same as what I did in Solo. That's a new building there, and it looks quite nice. It's been built quite tastefully, I would say. These are all newer. Newer certainly than the old town area. So coming out and going backwards from my apartment, yeah, it's quite nice. There's a little bit of Thailand at the end of the street before I bear right. Maybe a bit more authentic than it looks. It almost looks like it's a sushi type bar. <clears throat> anyway, turning right. Last thing you see is more beautiful stonework. Looks like it's a church. San, San Bartholomew, San Miguel. That's all quite new, Mike. <clears throat> electric bikes and electric scooters, people are looking at them there. Not for me. So they go down near point two of a mile and then I'll be very close to where the dry water dead park is. And the very famous area that everyone visually sees in Valencia. I believe it's known the, as the city of arts and sciences. Yes, I had a Google of that because it's such a big area and uh, there's no point in me getting it totally wrong. I'd rather not even say what it is, just go and show you and find out later. But it's the city of arts and sciences, which is on the old dry riverbed, I believe, which runs all the way around the back of the city. Something like that. Yeah. Oh yes, I'm close. Traffic lights are changing, so I got my wits about me. Nothing coming up that way. Oh, I'm not going to go for it. Should have done. Could have done. If I was 20 years younger. So look what's over there. I don't even have to run. 
jump over the wall. It's all just is it a 10 mile walkway I believe, something like that. I'm going down that way. Well before I go down, now these like look quite similar to the city of London uh, boundary. Go down on the other side of the way. I'm slightly walking backwards. Look at that's a skate park, I think. No, it just slides for kids. No, it's a slide park for kids. It's all little kids going on there. They go sliding down. Look. Wow, I've never seen a nice big wide open slide like that before. What a great idea. You know, it's not a kid, it's a, just going down where you have a little kid. Go on, mate. There's that. Hey, you've got a better view of him with the sun behind me. things going on over there. Yeah, oh, this is the old riverbed wall. I guess certainly looks original, doesn't it? Interesting. So, they probably should have gone down the bridge where I saw, but I assume there'd be another way down the other side of that big road and there wasn't. It's not much different walking on this road near the cars. Well, I suppose there is a difference, but uh, equally nice. In fact, down there it looks a little bit shady at times, whereas here it's lovely and warm. And it's all here. Yeah, I reckon it would probably be more expensive to rent here. Let's go around the other side.